G'day guys, it's Billy here from losttreasure.com.au um, I'm out on another mate's old farm so I thought I'd show you some bits of old Australian machinery uh, maybe if you're a collector of old um, Australian farming equipment if you're interested uh, contact me and I can ask the farmer he might be willing to sell <coughs> this beautiful old piece of machinery don't know what it is, could be an old um, Obviously, it would have been an old horse drawn or uh, bullock drawn uh, plow or for plowing, plowing up the ground. As you can see, it's a beautiful condition. Yeah, it's definitely an old plow. There's the old plows just down below there. So, maybe if a um, historical museum is after something like this, give me a bell. Contest of all machinery. Uh, got a beautiful wheel there, the other wheel's just down here and just down here is what could be a part of it it's pretty old it's got 1899 is the last date so yeah what's it got? improved force feed fertiliser and grain sower Bigfoot and Huffman Division um, Macadon or Macedon New York, so yeah, that's nice. It's a oh, really old plow complete, or well, most of it's complete, but it's got all the wheels beautiful old wheels. There's a couple of um, plows that are left over. But, yeah, yeah these guys on the same the property. I uh, just found a few more old wheels. There's another one there, that one. Um, that smaller one would be pretty easy to get to. This other one here is connected, it goes all the way through to the other side where there's another wheel. Just here. I think this wheel would be pretty easy to get to. It's not, con no, it's not connected to anything. It would be pretty easy just to pull out I think. Here's another nice old wheel. I'll continue up to the old house over there, see what else is over there. Nice, oh, so I just found this old reindeer brand pickle bottle. I'll take that, try and sell it on an eBay. Put in someone's garden, uh, made into like an old um, seat. So, if you're interested, you can see the old. Otherwise, I might ask my mate if I can sell it on eBay for him. Right now guys, I'm just at the old house, um, as you can see it's completely demolished but I've already asked my mate Carl um, if I can strip the place of all this electrical cord so really really thick stuff, weighs a fair bit, so there's quite a bit so probably in the next month or two I'll come back out here and strip the place of all the electrical cord, whatever I can get and we'll go halves, so Carl and I, or we'll go 50% each and um, or a couple of wires. And there's also plenty of old, old nice Gerald wood under here in really good condition, hasn't been termite affected. So once again I'll ask Carl, see if I can sell it for him on eBay, make some good money out of this Gerald wood. It's worth well guys, fortune. this is another reason why I came out today. i uh, got a good new plan of making good money on eBay. What you can see here is a dead kangaroo. Here's the claws of the kangaroo, just there, pretty big, uh, this kangaroo's probably been dead, I don't know for how long, probably a few months, but this skull here, this is what I'm after, beautiful old skull, they sell for probably $50 on eBay, believe it or not, so I'm going to take this skull, it is totally complete, which will probably give it more money, look at that. Oh, the only bad thing is that there, it's got a broken, so it's probably not even worth grabbing. But nevertheless guys, this is what a kangaroo skull looks like for you American viewers and overseas viewers. Well guys, I'm not doing any metal, metal detecting here today, but one day I'll come out, but look what I just saw. Just laying there, an old penny. I didn't plant it there. Look at that. So, it's, uh, it's not, not that old. 
as you can see on this side it's been pretty weathered but it's 1950 sort of can kangaroo penny so that's well, a good guys, sign. we did find a pretty interesting relic it's an old handheld um, like washing machine dryer for um, squeezing out the water of clothes just to the right there that rusty piece of metal that's what they used to turn in they put their um, clothes through those two round rollers turn that handle to the right and that would get all the water out of the just clothes. Just found a couple more really really good condition and there's two here uh, three sets of wheels down there and here's another one another full set of wheels these things would be perfect as, as I said before for like old garden benches in people's yards you can buy the crappy repro reproduction ones on eBay but why do that we can buy the original ones so these are in really good condition I'll ask my mate definitely if he'd be interested in selling these well guys with this beautiful piece of machinery I haven't got a clue what it is um, looks like it's totally complete um, it's got four wheels oh there's a marking there well that's nice um, manufactured by R.A. Lister and Co Dursley England and look at this beautiful old original badge Mellock Brothers Agents Perth Mellick Brothers Agents Perth So it must be some kind of um, old generator Not too sure It might even be an old bloody rabbit um, Smoking thing to smoke rabbits out of the holes To kill rabbits Totally complete, got the seat down there Definitely a beautiful old antique Same, same mate's farm Wow, this is nice. So this would have to be a rare piece of machinery. I've never seen nothing like this. The Lister. That's what it's called, the Lister. I'll have to do a bit of Google research on that, see what it means. Well, wow, nice find. It's even got the thing here. What's this? The old uh, cover. That's nice. Just found this, guys. Don't know what it is. It looks like it's possibly an old trucker or an old grill of some time. Anyone knows what it might be? Give us a yell. Um, yeah, I'd love to know what it is.